I don't want it to fall. I salvaged my failed attempt at my third batch of yogurt. Good yogurt shouldn't be moving like that. If you too have a failed yogurt attempt or just extra milk lying around, follow along. And you too can learn how to make your failed yogurt into protein sludge. And you know what we need. First things first, we address this. This is about 64 ounces or half a gallon of milk with six tablespoons of yogurt. That's 660 calories, 66 grams of protein. I'm adding all of this. I'm going to also add in protein powder. All of the cookies to make them into cookie crumbs, mixing it all in. Maybe TSA can break up these Nani's cookies because I couldn't. Whether you use cookies like me, crackers, or anything else, make sure you mix to truly cover your mix-ins so it absorbs your failed yogurt or milk. To add a little more nutritional value to our cookies and milk or cookies and failed yogurt, I add 100 grams of chocolate and 100 grams of vanilla protein powder. And we're left with something like this. I'm going to go and place this into the fridge. I feel like the best way to usually go about these types of things is actually baking it. That way you can kind of bake into the cookie that extra moisture of the milk or whatever other fluid you may have in there. I didn't really want to go through all the baking hassle, so we're going to just leave it at sludge for today. We'll see how it tastes in a day or two. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. Two days later and our protein sludge is looking thick, so make sure before you eat to mix and try to distribute that protein powder evenly, as evenly as possible. I will say those drippings do not look very appetizing. Here we go. It's good. I feel like it would taste a lot better baked. I'm not too sure if the taste is affected because I had failed yogurt in here because the milk was out for like less than 24 hours but longer than 12. It hasn't made me sick though. I do not recommend baking. It tasted much better as raw protein sludge. Having made baked protein sludges and cakes and puddings before, I don't know why this one came out not as delicious. It tasted like a mousse, which was good, but just compared to the raw protein sludge, not as good. Uncooked is the way to go. Yeah, it's fine. It's protein powder and cookies and milk. I guess seven. If I was really in the mood for something to like not chew, like after wisdom teeth surgery, this, this would have been it. Directions are down below for this 149 calorie, 9.2 grams of protein for 100 grams.